all know how important prenatal care is. Part of that care is exercising. And better fitness expert Andrea Metcalf shows us how to get fit with prenatal Pilates. Well, you know, Pilates is a great form of exercise, but what about when you find out that you're going to be a mom? Well, Pilates, prenatal Pilates, and postnatal Pilates are wonderful exercises to help tone your core and keep that baby in position so that your back feels good. Our first exercise is going to be the mermaid. Now, like the traditional mermaid, we're going to sit with our legs crossed, and you can take a half barrel or your own bench, a seat, or firm up some towels so that your hips are a little higher than your knees. This will keep the pressure off the lumbar spine. Now this is a side bending motion where we're moving the spine slowly to each side. And the other thing about this is we're giving room for baby between our rib cage and our pelvis. Now our next exercise is going to be a modified swim or the swim prep. This is done in the prone position on hands and knees. Now typically swimming is done all the way on the belly, but for obvious reasons during pregnancy we're going to keep this on hands and knees. We're going to start with elbows rotated back towards the hips, shoulders away from the arms, and reaching one arm up and the opposite leg stretches back. The key is to really keep the pelvis parallel to the floor and lengthening again from the hips to the rib cage. We want to give that baby lots of room to breathe and at the same time strengthen our mom's back. Now our next exercise is going to be called the cat stretch. Now this is a wonderful exercise to reduce the pressure in the lower spine. A lot of times as that baby's pulling the belly forward, we end up having the lumbar spine come close together. So we want to try this exercise to really bring the tailbone under, pull through the hips, and stretch out. Now if you don't have a ball, you can always place your hands on a coffee table or chair. And you're rolling or sequencing the spine. And what's so wonderful about Pilates is the mental part of connecting with the body. Our last exercise is going to be a seated arm extension. And this exercise is going to help open up the chest and lengthen through the thoracic spine. So we're going to start seated again, and it can be on the ball or in a chair, but you do want your hips still lifted so you have nice spinal alignment. Take a stretching band and bring it behind your back with hands out to the side. You're going to reach the arms through extension all the way to the fingertips out to each side and breathe. Remember, breathing is an important part of Pilates and very, very crucial to every single part of this movement. All of these movements are safe from your first, second, and third trimester. And Lisa has been doing an incredible job just entering the first part of her third trimester. Well, Lisa, this is gonna go a whole lot faster for me than it is for you. Remember, Pilates can help you through your pregnancy. Try some prenatal Pilates. All right, don't miss out on another workout. Do them at home or wherever you get Wi-Fi. Just log on to our website, better.tv, and click on Andrea's one-minute workout. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Coming up on Better, shore up your savings to the tune of $500 a month. We'll show you how. The main thing is to just plan your meals around the sales at your local store. Plus, FDIC insured. What does that really mean to you and your money? Better, we'll be right back.